A contact mic is a very useful form of alternative microphone, useful for picking up extremely quiet sounds and amplifying them to the point that you can hear everything. Easiest way to make a contact mic is to use what is called a piezo disc. Now, a piezo disc is a small disc of brass with a crystal material deposited on it in a little bullseye in the middle. Piezo discs in our life usually come in a little black plastic hockey puck that serves as a resonator. These are the things that go beep in your microwave, in your cell phone, in your alarm clock. Turns out that making a sound with a piezo disc is very cheap, both in terms of the manufacturing costs, there are fewer parts in this than in a loudspeaker, and in terms of the amount of energy it takes to make it go beep at one frequency. Okay. Piezoelectricity is a property, like electromagnetism, that allows us to go back and forth between the electronic domain and the acoustic domain. Instead of using electromagnetism, it uses a crystal property. Hit the crystal with a bit of electricity, and it twitches and makes a little bit of mechanical vibration, i.e. sound. Hit the piezo disc with a hammer, the crystal deforms and it generates an electrical signal. So, piezo discs come in all different sizes, and in order to hear one in action, what we need to do is connect one to an amplifier. So here I have a plug that fits my amp. I'm going to connect a black clip lead to the long lug of this, which is the ground or sleeve. I'm going to take a red one and connect it to the short, which is the hot or the signal. It goes to the tip here. I'm going to put it into my amp, turn on the amp. I'm going to take one of these discs and I'm going to connect the black lead, clip lead, to the wire that goes to the outside part of the disc, the metal part of the disc, because that is our ground. I'm going to take the red and I'm going to connect it to the other one. And as you can hear, it picks up the scraping and tapping sounds. But it does not pick up acoustic sound. If I put it in front of my mouth, you can't hear. If I put it on my larynx, you probably can hear something because there is mechanical vibration that's picked up here on my voice box. But talk as I might, you won't hear my words through the disc, through the air. Fine. That's how we make a contact mic, but if you want to put this on a guitar or drop it into a river to record the fish, you're limited by our wiring setup. So we're going to build upon our soldering skills and solder this up onto a cable to make a nice, strong, useful contact mic.